welcome to day four of cruise ship quarantine. I got up about two hours ago, had a shower and stuff, and I've had my breakfast. I didn't show you the breakfast because it was the same, so bread, pastry, apple, yogurt, cheese, and ham. So same breakfast as every day, but now I am dressed and ready for the day. I'm going to go through my contract that my assistant manager delivered last night, and I'm gonna sign it. I wanted to do it with a fresh, a fresh head, and then I also need to go through my expenses, so things that I need to expense back to the company. So when I had my medical done, I had to pay for my uh, chest x-ray, my two PCR tests that I had, the taxi from the airport to the ship, and also my meal that I had in the hotel the night before I came. So I'll expense all that back, so I just need to send that to my assistant manager so that he can send that off to the company so I'm going to do all of that this morning while I have a fresh head because I don't want to make any mistakes. <laughs> was the drinks guys so I braved it and I got a coffee so we're gonna see if it's any good when it cools down I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions about quarantine so I thought I would just sit here and answer them for you I mean at this point you pretty much know what goes on but just for those of you who did still have questions is the crew bar open uh, yes the crew bar no it's not actually no it's not open obviously it's not for me but for general crew no it is not open just because we're launching in like not long they're really trying to limit the spread of any illnesses especially so they've just shut it for now which i think is the sensible thing to do even when we have a covid certificate do we still have to quarantine i'm guessing the covid certificate is like the pcr test the test that you have before you come on board to say that you don't have it but the answer is yes you will still have to quarantine i got a negative pcr test but you have to quarantine because you have your pcr test two days before you embark the ship most times right so they know that you're negative then but the thing is you might catch it when getting to the ship you know you could catch it on the way to the airport in the airport on the way from the airport to the ship so they have to put you in quarantine for a minimum of three days because they say that that's when symptoms are going to start to show so yes you even if you get a negative pcr test you will have to quarantine for a minimum of three days so you have to do a covid test every day while you are in quarantine i haven't done a covid test every day but i have been temperature checked every single day and asked you know are you all right do you have symptoms but no i haven't had one every day i just have one when i get on board and when i leave quarantine and then i'm temperature checked every day and can you work on board without a covid vaccine no you cannot i don't know any cruise lines that are allowing crew members to work without all three vaccines you need the booster there are exceptions if your country isn't offering them they will administer it on board um, but you will have to have it will you still have to quarantine in future because if covid isn't still around i don't know i don't think so um i this is definitely just for like while covid is around however i don't think it's a bad thing having to quarantine for a few days even if covid isn't a thing if, or it isn't around as much because even if you don't get covid you can catch anything you can get any type of flu so i think just coming on board and quarantining for like two to three days is actually a good idea and also if you have flown like a lot of my teammates you've flown from like colombia or south america to europe jet lag is is real so to have to come on board and get straight to work is really hard whereas i'm not gonna lie last contract and this contract it's been really nice to come on board have a few days to just get to grips obviously i haven't really had to get on any time zone because i've come from england but 
just to get on the ship, like understand things, and then you get to work. Rather than usually, you get on board, you unpack in your crew cabin, and in two hours, you start your first shift. You know, it's very intense. So I, I don't think quarantining is a bad thing, but I also think that it will probably disappear when the pandemic disappears. How many days is it taking now? So that completely depends on the cruise line. I'm doing five days on Virgin. I know some cruise lines are doing three days. Some cruise lines are doing a week. It really just depends on the cruise line. I joined Virgin Voyages in late April, May. Will there still be a quarantine period? Well, welcome to Virgin, that's exciting. But I don't know is the answer. I would assume so, but obviously that's quite a while away. Can you choose your meals? Yeah, so as I went through on day two, I think you can choose your meals. It's not like you get a choice of everything, but you get a choice out of vegetarian, fish or meat. And I would assume that is the same on every ship, every cruise line, you know, they've, they've got to give you options. Can we carry our own food on board for quarantine? Yes, you can, within reason. Like anything that is sealed and in a packet, you can bring on board. You can't be bringing on like blocks of cheese and a loaf of bread and stuff, or f you can't bring fruit on board. Bring snacks with you. Especially if you're a fussy eater, then definitely bring stuff that you like. What to do there when you're bored? Well, <laughs> to be honest, just like when I was quarantining last year, making these videos has genuinely kept me sane because it's something to do, it's something to keep me busy. But what I would say is make sure you have like your favorite TV series on a hard drive or your favorite films on a hard drive. If you like to read, read a book, download some podcasts that you can listen to. If you like to draw, bring paper and drawing pen, you know, like whatever you like to do, bring it with you because there is a lot of downtime. After you finish quarantining in the sailor cabin, are you then free to roam the ship? That's a really good question. So. Once again, it's probably different on every cruise line, but for this one, for Virgin Voyages, I am doing full quarantine in this sailor cabin for five days, and then I will move to my crew cabin and I will have to do work in quarantine for a week. So that means that I can go to work and go back to my cabin, and that is it. So I believe that my meals will be like packaged up. I will pick it up from the mess but I will have to eat it in my room. So I'll do five days full quarantine, a week work in quarantine, and then I will be free to roam. How will my clothes be washed? They won't, unless you wash them in the sink, but they won't while you're in full quarantine uh, and, and work in quarantine as well. So definitely bring enough underwear for like two weeks because you're gonna have a big load of laundry to do after your quarantining. This is a good question. What is your favorite and least favorite thing about quarantining? Favorite thing I suppose is being able to stay in this gorgeous cabin for a week. And my least favorite thing is not being able to drink coffee as much as I would like to. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably good for me. Is there anything you wish you had bought on board for your quarantine? Ooh, um. I wish I'd have bought a book, but I didn't think to bring that either. So definitely consider that when you are packing your bags. But anyway, those are the questions. Let's try this coffee. It looks awful, but... It is awful. Oh no. Ooh! Dear. Lunch is here. We have a salad. An apple. Of course. Wow, that is nice. Amazing. This looks like, um, well, it's rice with broccoli and some kind of sauce. It smells really good. Nice green leafy salad. This cake that has tipped over looks amazing. Banana or something, and then a bread roll. So. Yeah, this looks lovely. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. 
contracts well signed my contract I did a presentation earlier that I'll need to do in a few weeks but that is done now so I can just forget about it I did some stretching I called my friend so it's actually been a pretty 
pretty productive day in quarantine. Isn't it like one of the best things when you bite into an apple and it's a good apple? But it is now nine o'clock. So I am gonna have a shower and get into bed and watch a film. Jurassic World. I watched um, Shutter Island last night. I love that film, it's fantastic. It is now probably like 11.30, so I am going to go to sleep. I hope you have a very nice night, whatever you do. And I will see you tomorrow for my last and final day in quarantine on The Valiant Lady. I'm very excited about it. But thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.